Okay, we're gonna get started uh, on our next check here. It's June 19th. So here's our next hive body. It's another 10 inch box full of completely fresh frames. I uh, showed you one of these uh, in the first video, I believe. Um, just for reference, these frames, I just weighed it. These frames weigh about half a pound a piece. Lid off. Empty food box. Bucket of honey. That bucket's empty. They suck it dry. Now, see there's a little bit of wax through the top of the hole here in the lid. The other hive had done that same thing. In fact, they did it last time too. Um, basically, they're so full inside that they're going up just to see where they can find more room to, uh, to build. So I'm going to pry this off, see what we got underneath here, and uh, I'll have to clean that up before I put the lid back on it. Get you a closer look here at this wax. See, it's built up. It's actually like a, a three-edged comb right now. They just grew wherever they could. Okay, there's likely to be a ton of bees on the other side of this. Yeah, there are. Oh, yeah. See, they were building wax from the top down. I, I need to flip that lid over so it's shorter. And I'll have to clean up all these, these frames as we go along here. And all right, so hold it. Hopefully we've got good wax on both sides of this one. Okay. Here's frame one. All right, not as much as the other five. As you can see, we've got uh, oh, about 25%. Oh, well, actually more, because they've got it, they're filling out all along top here, so that's good. Pretty clear wax, and it was hard to see. Not really much of anything on this side yet, but I still think it's time to go ahead and put the next box on. Put that in here. Have it out of the way. Let's look at number two. Oh, before I do that. No, no propolis. I want to make sure I clean these up really well this time. Because putting the next hive box on top, I'm not likely to uh, to be doing much inspection in this box for quite a while. So I want to clean it up now while I can. Actually see, out toward the edges of the hive, they don't put as much brood in, but they fill it with with honey. So let's see a hand So right here, there's full cells. And I can see glistening liquid in it, and that's the early honey. They're working on uh, uh, filling it out. And then here, you can see it looks kind of whiter. Hopefully you can see that. Those are actually honey cells that they've, they've capped. So that's honey that's complete, and they're just uh, uh, they're not going to mess with it anymore. They're just letting it ferment. And since this is in the brood box, that is their food store honey. That is not honey that I will be taking. That's honey that they will be using to survive the nights and eventually this I brought that scale out because last time I thought gee it'd be cool to see how much these actually weigh so in this one frame three we have honey on the upper side here around the edges but down in the more the center that's brood you can kind of tell because the wax is more yellow which means they've been using it more and uh, it's been long enough they've probably gone through well, at least three generations of new bees. And I can see uh, larvae down inside a lot of those holes. Most of these here are capped, which means there are pupa in there. I'll show you something on this one. So I don't know if you can see over here how the, I'll try to go profile here, how the, uh, the wax is raised up from the rest of the surface. And I mentioned before that those are the cells that contain the uh, drone pupa. 
the drones are bigger, so in order to cap the cells, they stick out further. So this particular frame weighs right at three pounds. And since an unfilled frame is half a pound, that means I have two and a half pounds of bees, wax, honey, nectar, and brood going on here. I'm just cleaning these joints up a bit so they'll go back together a little more smoothly. As I said before, this uh, when I put these back together, I'm not going to be looking at these guys again for a while. Last two. it's being turned into honey storage. Same on this side. I don't anticipate this to be pretty much all honey. Oh, we can smell it. Yeah. So uh, we're about 80% filled on the axial side and 70% on this side, but yeah, it's it's time to go ahead and put another box on these guys. They got a little bit of work to do on this end yet. But I think if I wait another week, they're gonna be squirming for more room. So give it to them now. Especially since the honey bucket's empty anyway. And when I put the second box on top, I'm not going to refill that honey. Okay, so I'm just going to, huh, they're pretty active right now, just pushing the frames back into place. Trying to minimize the bee squishage. Do it slowly to give them time to move away from the wood. They're getting excited. By that I mean there's just more flying around. Nobody's nobody's bothering me. They do this sometimes. It sounds kind of uh, dramatic. All the buzzing going on. Okay. Put these two back in. You know, it might be partially the uh, fact that I broke open some of the honey cells. They can smell that. And they'll go looking for it because free honey is a marvelous thing to a bee. Okay. Now we're going to put the new box on top, 10 new frames. And they'll work their way up now. So I probably won't open that lower box again. Uh, well, maybe not even at all this season unless something seems wrong. What I'll be doing from here on out is inspecting this one until it's full and then I'll start stacking the supers on top and that's where I'll if I get honey this year that's where it's going to come from. Alright so that's cleaned up. I'm going to take this and again try to squish as few bees as we can. Put the lid on. Now we're not going to have any empty boxes on top anymore. We are Going completely the energy here. There we go. Put the rock back on her and uh, let these guys sort themselves out. <laughs>